Hello, my name is Michael Price. I'm the director of the San Angelo Nature Center. Thank you for watching the Nature Center show on Channel 17. Today I want to talk to you about the four species of rat snakes that we have right here in the Concho Valley. Now we have 35 different kinds or different species of snakes that are found here, and four of them are rat snakes. Rat snakes are called rat snakes because of their diet. Their diet is primarily mice and rats. Now snakes, or rat snakes in particular, like other reptiles, such as lizards, turtles, and crocodilians, are ectothermic animals, or cold-blooded. What that means is their body temperature is relevant to whatever the temperature is that surrounds them. Unlike mammals, such like we are, like, like people and dogs and cats, we have an internal body temperature that stays consistent regardless of the outside temperature. For example, if it was 90 degrees in this room, my internal body temperature would still be 98.6. If it was 40 degrees in this room, my internal body temperature would still be 98.6. Heat is generated from the inside of our body. Not so with reptiles. The heat, they absorb any heat from outside sources. For example, if it was 40 degrees in this room, this snake's body temperature would actually be 40 degrees. If it was 90 degrees in this room, this snake's body temperature would be 90 degrees. Now, a couple of misnomers about snakes. Many people think snakes are slimy. Snakes are not slimy. Fish, fish are slimy. Earthworms, worms are slimy. Frogs, toads, salamanders, those are all slimy. Snakes are actually very dry, very clean. In fact, they're one of the cleanest animals of the animal kingdom. Their skin is waterproof. I could take this snake and dip it in water, lift it up, and, it, and the, the water would ball up on its back like, like that of a duck, like the, a duck's back. Their skin is waterproof. They're very dry, they're very clean animals. Now this particular species that I'm holding right here is, is uh, very common here in the Concho Valley. It's called a Great Plains rat snake. It's a relative of the corn snake, or the red rat snake that's often seen in pet stores. They get to be a medium size. They get to be about four feet long. Uh, they're very slender. Uh, they, for the most part, they're very calm. Uh, they spend the majority of their time around barns trying to feed on mice and small rats and occasionally birds. They have a checkerboard belly, which gives them their namesake, namesake of corn snake. It looks like Indian corn. The next species of rat snake I want to talk to you about is probably the most common snake found here in the Concho Valley. We probably get more calls here at the San Angelo Nature Center about this species of snake than any other. Uh, these guys are, are, are habitat journalists. They can live in any sort of habitat. They like, they, they like to live in lawns. They like to live around creeks. They like to live in, in trees. They're extremely aggressive, as you can see by this guy right here. They like to climb. They like to defend themselves very, very viciously. Uh, they get threatened. When they feel threatened, they will open their mouth and display and actually bite. Just open his mouth there. These guys are actually very common um, around houses. They live in the rafters of houses. And there's a little bite right there. They live in the rafters of houses. Uh, they live in trees because they, not only do they like to eat mice and rats, they also like to eat birds. One of their favorite prey are actually pigeons or small pigeons, young pigeons that are in the nest. We'll see if we can get him to do his open mouth display again. There he goes. Now, for the most part, this is a display, just a threat display, trying to scare off any uh, potential predator that it, that it fears. Uh, occasionally, they will bite, but they're, they're, their teeth are very, very small. Uh, they have four rows of teeth in their top jaw and two in the bottom, and they're just like small little needles. Uh, they're not venomous. Um, in fact, a, a house cat could do a lot more damage to you than this guy could. We'll see if he'll do his little threat again one more time. We'll put you away. Nope. Oh. You can see where he did bite and drew just a little bit of blood. But again, very light pinpricks, doesn't hurt very much at all. The next species we're going to talk about is one of the most common of the rat snakes. It's called the Transpecus rat snake. They barely enter the Concho Valley in the southern edges of the Concho Valley in, in Crockett County, uh, as far west as Upton County and Reagan County. These guys are very innocuous. Their, their eyes are very large. They're nocturnal. They spend the majority of their days underground in, in burrows or underneath uh, uh, root trees or the roots of trees or actually under uh, limestone rocks where they're found. They come out at night and they spend the majority of their night looking for their favorite prey which are kangaroo rats. You can see as he's tasting the air he's using his tongue and he's telling he can tell what's going on around him. Snakes don't have ears they cannot hear. To make up for that lack of hearing they have a, an extra organ in the inside of their mouth called a Jacobson's organ. And what happens is a snake will stick its tongue out, pick up air particles, and put its tongue back in its mouth. And that will allow it to sense and taste what's going on around it. Another name for the snake is the H snake. You can see the neat little 
dorsolateral black stripes with the, with the center that gives them the H-shaped appearance. These are a small rat snake obtaining a length of about three and a half to four feet. The last species that is found here in the Concha Valley is called the Baird's rat snake. Now Baird's rat snakes go through a complete change uh, from juveniles to adults in pattern. Baby Baird's rat snakes start out solid gray with little brown spots that run down the back. As they get older, especially the males, obtain this bright orange hue, bright orange color, they lose their spots and get four dorsolateral stripes that run down the back. They're a large species of rat snake. They can reach a length of, of almost six feet. They are also, just like the Transpecus rat snake, found primarily um, in the hill country and the southern edges of the Concho Valley. They're extremely quick, very elusive. And they're also highly arboreal, just like other rat snake species. Their primary prey, besides birds, are small mice, rats, and even small ground squirrels. Well, I hope you learned a little bit about some of the rat snakes that are found here in the Concho Valley today. Be sure and tune in next time to see what other kind of interesting creatures we'll be talking about.